Peeps, what's going down? We're looking at 2023 BB Corps bat lineup for Tennessee. A bunch of slugger bats. People say they're not officially sponsored by them, but they clearly have some connection. Fair enough. They love this select power. This is Maui Ahuna. Dude, he's an absolute baller. Transfer from somewhere. I can't, for some, I can't remember right now. But, but in any case, grounds out of the first base. But watch, watch this next one. Mm. Side yaya. Yeah. You're going to do great with any bat. That kind of swing. A bunch of Tennessee guys. I mean, obviously, these are high-level D1 guys. Their swings look absolutely phenomenal. Same bat in Christian Moore. 2021 select power. Two-piece hybrid bat. Composite handle. Big barrel. Heavy alloy barrel. And a pretty stiff connection. They seem to be tightening up that connection over the years. Here's Blake Burke. You see that little bat flip right there? That was, that was smooth. Swinging the same bat, but in the 2021 version. So this is the 2021 select power. Same idea. Alloy barrel, composite handle, heavy swing. These big boys tend to like these hybrid bats. Um, some some college teams you'll see. Oh, look, look at that. Right I like Mike Trout light, you know, wrong side of the plate, but just down on his foot. And he went deep. Interesting, the four-hole hitter here in Zane Denton using a single-piece alloy, which is, a, which is kind of a lighter swinging bat. So sometimes you see that, maybe a little more these days, but this is the new Atlas, sort of replaces the 2022 Solo with that variable wall thickness and light swing and that kind of stuff. I assume that's probably a 34 he's swinging because he's a big dude. Jared Dickey goes back to that 2021 select power, so that's the red on black, two-piece hybrid, stiff connection, uh, foul ball here. And I think he like, grounds out the first or something right here. Good sound on that bat, though, right? Um, pretty consistent. Sounds different than the, than, than the 2022 version. And I don't know why. It's the same bat. Maybe it's just worked in differently, maybe a little bit older. Speaking of the 2022 version, that's what, 400? That's a shot. That a kid? That's gone. The end cap is what they changed for 2023. This is the 2022. See how it's sort of black on red? Uh, that select power. You'll see this is the 2023 version. And I'm telling you, this is Caveras Tears guy. This is the dude to watch. Same bat, same idea. They did change the end cap to be a little bit lighter, probably change the swing weight a little bit. Um, but this dude's swing at is, it's pretty. Look at the load, baby. This is a game we they showed a highlight of last night. Here he is getting a double down the first baseline. But man, he, he is a dude to watch. Interesting, he's the only guy swinging in 2023. I'm sure by the end of the year that will change. Well, it, it, with the exception of the Atlas. So you, so the nine-hole hitter, Charlie Taylor, swinging a, a single-piece alloy. Four-hole hitter, swinging the same bat. Not very often you actually see the four and the nine guy using the same bat. It's usually the four and the one guy. Um, here's another guy that came in place for Burke Benton as like a DH or something one day. And just went deep, so he had to put it in there. That, that's the 2022, I think he had, select power. But there you have, folks. Lots of select powers, obviously. Uh, End-loaded, two-piece, hybrid, stiff feel. People like it. And then maybe a surprising single-piece alloy in the Atlas if, at the four and the nine. But, eh, folks, there you go. That's 2022 Tennessee Volunteers Bat Order.